guys and welcome to my channel as you can see I have my tea on me because I love tea and I need it for my voice since I'm not a really talking person <laughs> I need some support so let me put it right here and in this video guys as you can see on the background I have some stuff hanging right there this is my sale haul from Zara this season and I love sale seasons I can buy really expensive stuff for just you know a fraction of money so at first I wanted to just sit down show you things maybe just explain something and then insert some try-on clips but then I decided what if we can make this video a little bit more active and I can be here with you guys talking showing and I'm going to sometimes be a little bit closer to the camera so you can see stuff in details and shall we start so let's start with some coats i've got two coats this time i really needed the black coat which i'm gonna tell you a little funny story a little bit later so let's just put it right here and i'm going to show you the first coat which is this military style cocky green with gold buttons wool coat and i never buy coat unless it's like at least 50% of the wool because otherwise this is not coat this is the coat look kind of coat <laughs> I need my coat to keep me warm this one has 75% of the wool I don't care what kind of wool it is to be honest I just need a very wooly coat you know and the black one also has 75% of the wool that's why I was really really excited and Zara this season previous season by now and this season as well they have really really nice wool coats so i managed to grab this one it's like super fitted shoulders slim looking but also a little bit like men piece of wardrobe love the details on the sleeves as well now it's time for the black one let me show you that it's a little more like male you know situation with all of those like non-fitted white big shoulders right here but i kind of love this look of like you know very oversized i have a really funny story which is now funny because i solved the problem but at first it was like super super annoying because i've got this coat 70 percent off amazing right like 70 percent off for the wool coat who am i a joker but yes i've got this coat i knew it's not gonna come again especially my size i have size extra small in this and you know what it came with somebody's perfume sprayed on the lapels guys and believe me this perfume was not really pleasant so i probably spent like a week or so to get rid of this smell i literally used my steamer my balcony uh, coffee, baking soda, like everything you can think of and it's finally just it's finally smells like coffee you know you can just send it to the dry clean they will solve the problem in like a day or something but I don't want to spend money on a new coat to get dry clean because I know I'm gonna go there outside it's gonna be dirty this coat will be dirty and I will need to send it back to the dry clean once again so I don't want to spend this much money. I decided that I can solve my problem myself, so I did it. Now I don't smell like a very weird woman. Okay, let's move on to two of those green jackets. I know, I know, why does the person need two green jackets? Babe, those are different and my eyes are green, so I need my green jackets with me. The first one so the first one i got is this super cute forest green bomber jacket i really wanted a bomber jacket and i didn't want a khaki green one like an alpha industries one so i was looking for my perfect green bomber jacket and i found this one this one is a little more cropped than i would maybe want it to be but at the same time it kind of gives me better proportions because i'm a short girl i'm just five six and you can say i'm not really short the thing is that my legs are short so i need to keep in mind that i need some proportions don't really know how i'm gonna style it though because i kind of want to make it a little bit more sporty chic so maybe something not 
that much of a casual look, but we'll see. This one, as you can see, is totally different. I was looking for a jacket that would look like a bit of like a rain jacket mixed with some trench looking one. So I found this one accidentally. I was returning a dress that didn't fit me well and I was like, I don't want to make like a return. I want to change it for something and I bumped into this jacket. This one also has some buttons in here to put a hood on so it came with a hood. I detached the hood as soon as I brought it home because honestly I don't want it to have a hood. Like who wants it to have a hood? So yeah. Uh, you can do the sleeves a little bit more fitted as if you want or you can make them wide again and the best thing about that that I for some reason decided not to talk at first <laughs> is this thing yes this is the detachable layer underneath that you can unbutton and have like your super normal cotton parka but then you can attach back and it will be super warm, especially if you live in Russia, like I do, and I need some more tea. You see, this is why I need tea, because I literally start sounding like a male whale or something. What, what did we talk about? Ha, huh, me living in Russia, yes. I need, you know, some extra layers to keep me a little bit warmer, so I've got this one. I do like this kind of shape. Okay, next up we have this huge denim jacket which I found and I was debating between this one which is like super huge, you can see it. It's like I literally just stole it from my dad and cropped it. Uh, so I was debating between this one and also the one that was much more fitted. And I was looking at myself thinking like maybe I need a fitted one because it looks much more classy. But then, sorry for the construction, I took pictures of two of those and I realized that in the fitted one I literally look like I'm a housewife, I have two children and I'm 30 years old or something, or like 40 years old. No offense though, but I much more prefer this one and the very funny story behind that is that I actually wanted to crop the sleeves of that to make them like this short or something to make it look like a Levi's denim jacket that I've seen before and you know why I wanted to do this is because I actually didn't have a denim jacket for around 10 years or something. I literally wore my last denim jacket when I was in the middle school and then when I got rid of it I never even looked at any of the denim jacket. I never even knew that I need another denim jacket. So yeah I decided to see if I would actually wear it like a regular jacket with those sleeves and if I would not even pick this up I would probably just shorten the sleeves and make it into the one that I've been talking to you about. Okay, one thing I want to show you is this jumper. I myself bought this jumper in August of 2021 and I was like it might be on sale soon or it might disappear which sometimes also happens to Zara things. You can see them, but then as soon as they get sold out, they just disappear and nobody sees them again. So this one happened to be disappearing because this one was the last one that I saw in my city and it was sold out online. So I was like, I do want just one striped jumper for myself. So maybe I should have this one. Everyone loves a striped sweater like this, so people are going crazy. I have already washed mine. It's doing very, very good. No peeling, no shushing, so I do recommend it. Okay, so now you need to turn away because I'm gonna change. Ta-da! Yes, we do have a dress here. We also have another one. So yeah, I picked up this really really nice olive dress that was actually all over the internet already and this one was also available in black but because it is linen and you can see this really clearly it's very like a summery dress i was like do i need a black linen dress i probably don't so i picked up this one i'm a little bit pale for this color by now but i hope i will get tanned 
in the summer, so I will look a little better in this color. I love the shape, I love how it goes all the way here. It's on trend now, you know, like everyone loves some straps and strings. Also, because it's ruched, you can hide your belly and kind of look good with your booty. So yeah, and because I also have a few accessories, I decided I want to show you guys some accessories with this. I'm just doing this real time, no editing, no looking at myself in the mirror. You'll be my mirror. So tell me if that looks kind of appropriate. Kind of looks really cool. Like I love the headscarves. I've been wearing them the whole summer last year and I literally just, I needed to buy three more. Believe me, I will wear them. The third one is this one. Let's make it a little different, you know? We're gonna make it a headband, shall we? Put it whatever way you want. But this one looks really, really cool. Being like geometrical print with some diamonds inside of the circles. This is why you need math in your life so you can make beautiful scarves. Say hello to another dress that I found super accidentally. I was looking for a totally different dress and then I came across this one and I was like maybe I should try this on. This is the baby doll style dress. Everything is adjustable on the back. You can adjust the straps and how big or how small you want the space to be. And I also decided to put on my heels, which are those lime colored mules. Let me show you that. Also from Zara. They are now on sale as well. And for the Zara heels, they are really comfy. And you can believe me on that because I had a surgery on my foot. I know which heels are comfy. Just a little dinner dress. I bought this top, the linen one with the suit. This jacket has some short sleeves. I will show you a little bit later. I just wanted to show you guys the super nice top. It has some halter neck. I do wear it without my bra, so excuse my breasts if you do feel offended. The back is fully open. You can do whatever amount of knots you want. You can do the crosses and everything. It's like super cool. I also did a little string situation right here. I cannot really do anything with that because those pants are high-waisted and super, super long on me because, as I said, I have really, really short uh, legs. I love those pants, though. They are, as I said, super high-waisted. Uh, they are palazzo pants. The only thing is they can be a little bit see-through, so you need to wear your nude underwear with that to not show your panties. And now, let me put this jacket on so you can see how it looks all together. What do you think? I feel like it's like super super chic. Like I really put some effort into this look. And everything is linen. Alright, the next two things that I have are those two. I bought them together at the same time, but I don't mean to wear them together, you know? I much more prefer to wear this leopard skirt with a lot of like black or maybe like even total black with just this skirt to be the center of the outfit and this top is like super weird i bought it it cost me less than seven bucks like i don't know like six bucks or something and it does bother me a little that it waves here a little bit so you see that it kind of looks weird it's just the shape of the top but then i was like it kind of goes well with a lot of like casual things not really sustainable, but looks good. I probably would wear it a lot. Okay, let's start with those white runners that I've got. And they're super comfy. It's like walking in marshmallows. You can run in them, you can do whatever you want. They have this kind of like a transparency to the sole. So those would be definitely the ones that I would wear a lot. So the next pair of shoes that I have is actually the experiment for me. Ignore the jeans, by the way, I just didn't want to change. But yeah, I bought those kind of like high tops that look like Nike Air Jordans. Um, the only thing is they are much cheaper than that. I love that because as I said, I'm a short-legged girl. 
so I don't really know how to style them except for the white uh, jeans so yeah and I also didn't want to buy the actual ones because I was like what if they will go out of style in a few seasons and then I will be super mad about spending money on them Alright you guys, this is how we change from a basketball player to a retro loafer lover. <laughs> yes, I bought a pair of terracotta loafers. <laughs> you know, I don't have a pair of black loafers. And I saw those ones on sale, I was like, if I'm gonna wear terracotta loafers a lot, then I would definitely need a black pair, but for now, I just have those orange ones. I do love them because in St. Petersburg, here in Russia, we do get sometimes really rainy summer days. And in those days, I do want to wear something like that. You have the protection from all of the raining and water in general. All right, guys, this is it for this video. I've shown you everything that I bought this season on sale at Zara. I feel like this was one of the most successful and thoughtful sale seasons that I've got so far, even though I used to work at Zara at some point, so I used to buy a lot more things. And this time I feel that I really thought about what I wanted to keep. I hope you guys to see you in my next video, because otherwise I will come to you. Wish you guys all a very, very nice day. Bye.